Well, folks, I do have to get this off my chest. As a Second Amendment person, and a person <laughs> carries a concealed weapon, and I'm licensed for it, I have to cover this. Indiana. Greenwood Shopping Mall. A gunman entered the mall, what, carrying a couple of rifles, a pistol, and literally started shooting and killing people. Well, thank God, there was a young man in there that legally was carrying his pistol. He ran toward the firing. He did not run away. And all I have to say, the man saved lives that day. And all I have to say for this young man, I won't mention his name until he's ready. Not sure what his future holds for him or his plans. But as a person that's been in this business for many years, that is the kind of man we need in law enforcement. And I would suggest to him, if he has no plans for a 22-year-old, and as far as I know, he has no uh, police or military training. <laughs> but like I say, this is for him. <sighs> if you're not obligated in occupation, business or whatnot, consider law enforcement. Consider law enforcement. It could use you. It could use men like you that run toward the fire. Run toward it. <coughs> and accomplish good. Well, that day, young man, you did accomplish something good. You saved innocent lives. And you took down a dirt bag. That's all I got to say, and I just want to put it out there. So the world can see it if they see my video, what the hell, I'm sure it'll be on the news all over the place by the time I get this out. But I'm saying this for Second Amendment people, legally carrying weapons, CCWs, open carry, constitutional states, that's what it's there for. It's there so people can protect themselves, their family, and others. I stand by it. Thank you, folks. I know there's probably a lot of people out there. Oh, my God. Guns in the wrong hands cause problems. Guns in the right hands can solve those problems. Adios, folks. Have a good one.